Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on the E90 again, doing a little bit more maintenance. And like I said in the previous video with the oil change, and if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that one out. This is more geared towards the beginner, someone who's just getting into their E90, but also I'm going to throw a couple little things in there. So for those that are a little bit more experienced, hopefully you can get something out of this too. So I want to show you guys how we can maximize the airflow just from the stock configuration. And if we come over to the table, I have a few basic tools and you can see the couple of things over there you're working with. Bit kit for our T20, T25, that we're gonna need a trim panel tool, flathead to release a couple things, 10 millimeter. This is just my driver gun here, but if you're looking for something more basic, just a little driver like this is just fine. And a flashlight, if you don't have a bar like this, if you're working in the garage or if you're working outside and need something a little more. So today we have the Canon Airflow filter as well as these guides. They're air guides from ECS Tuning. And so pretty much that is going to turn the inlets here into a ram air intake style, funneling that air in through the filter and to the engine. And some of you might think that Oh, K&N filter is just kind of cheesy or whatever it may be. I know there's mixed opinions on K&N, but they've been around for so long and the performance of the K&N filter exceeds that of the manufacturer while still holding a 50 state legality. So let's go ahead and start taking things off. There's going to be two clips here that we're going to use the trim panel for, two T20s. We have two 10 millimeters. We have the clip here for the mass airflow sensor. So just that middle section, be careful with it. Just pry up a little bit while using your other hand to pull the connector out and the worm clamp there. And this whole box should come out along with this section and this section just pulls up and off. box out of the car we're gonna go ahead and split the case so there's one two three four five and six t25s so we're gonna go ahead and take our driver or if you have the hand ratchet with driver on it get your t25 loosen up all these screws and split it So here is the carbon filter on the inside of it, which this is built into the case. No need to worry about this. The actual filter we're worried about is right here. And so, oh yeah, this thing's pretty, it's pretty dirty. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's all black. That's not good. I can't remember the last time I changed this filter to be honest. And I'm going to have to be a lot better about it, especially with all that crap in there and having the high flow filter now. I'm just going to bang that out. There we go. So let's just take the K&N filter out. And the reason I went with K&N is I wanted to check a couple things. And as long as they've been on the market, super reliable, the little performance gain that you get from it. But... When you go to the Dynan site, when you go to the Dynan BMW tuning site, and you go under the 328, 325, 330, you get the part number for the KNN high flow filter. So this one at the time I got from Summit. I think it was around like $56 from the Dynan site. It wasn't on sale. I think it was like $65. So you know you would have gotten your Dynan points if you went through them. Right now, I think it is on sale. So you can go there and get that. And I figure having one filter instead of going to BMW, spending probably 20 bucks, 30 bucks or whatever it is, every service, you might as well have one and just service it yourself. So you get a sticker, 
you get to special message. Oh, so this is a registration for your product, 4K and N, little advertisement, and a helpful hints on installing your K and N replacement filter. And what I noticed is on the box, you actually get. So here's the part number for everybody. So it's be KN33 2332. And it actually gives you, let's see if I can get in there. It says use 1.6 fluid ounces or 47 milliliters of KNN oil when servicing filter. So when it does come time to actually clean your filter, you want to use the 1.6 fluid ounces. And here is the sticker for the air box if you'd like to use that as well. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And you can see that the actual pleats, when I get this out, oh man, that's pretty oiled. I'll probably just wipe down the edge before I stick this in the box. But just looking at the OEM and the new k &N filter, there's a ton more pleats on the OEM filter compared to the k &N. And that fluid is there to help catch bigger debris instead of passing through the filter and passing on to your engine. So it's very important that you stay with the recommended service interval whenever you're buying one of these filters. I just went online, I wanted to double check any of the service intervals, if there was anything posted specifically for the E90 on the K&N site. I did not see anything, so I'll probably be checking this every 10,000 miles or so. For me, that's every second oil change. From there, I'll just be sure to have oil on hand to make sure it is oiled, and like I said, on the side of the box there, you do have the oiling amount. And I do believe they have all that information online under the more information uh, when I was on the air filter tab itself on the K&N site. So we're gonna go ahead and lay that in, make sure it's all seated, and then match up the grooving here. Sounds loud, but all I did was just snug them up and check all sides of the casing, make sure everything is seated. Everything is in there all right. And so this is a okay. So before we go ahead and put the intake back in, we're gonna go ahead and pick up these guys. They are little air guides. So they're about 50, 55 bucks on ECS tuning. And what we're gonna do is install them right here into the slots that sit right underneath that little hump, that little pickup hump. And this is gonna create a ram air intake. So air that comes in is now gonna be forced up and into the air box itself now. So before, all you had was the intake just picking up air from here. It wasn't being directed anywhere, but through the condenser itself, these just slide right in here. They're pretty, pretty tight fit, which is nice. I just had, there we go. So they have those nice little lift edges and it just sits right there where we're gonna put our other clip in. So let's get our other one. And just like the other side, you can see those lift edges. I'm just gonna slide it straight down there we go, make sure that it's firmly seated. And so now, grab my flashlight. You can see they just stealthily sit in there. There's plenty of room for air to get through your condenser, but now you can see the little pickups where we're gonna have our little ram air pickups for the air intake box. So now we can start putting everything back together. That's it for the E90 today. Just a quick, easy little couple mods, a little service tutorial for the beginner, and hopefully a little tips for someone else who's a little bit more experienced, but just looking to do something else on their E90. Anyway, that's it, and I'll see you all next time.